What's up, Susie Lord's family? Namaste and greetings from Susie Mansantos. Today I'm gonna show you how to treat sardina for sushi. That is the fresh sardina. Now I'm gonna fillet it and how to treat it as a sushi grade fish, okay? In Japan, it's called iwashi. See? It's called sardine. So it's one of the most usable fish in a sushi. And that sardina sushi is a very tasty and delicious sushi. So I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you how to fillet and how to make sushi with sardina. I will tell you step by step whole process how to prevent the bacteria because that sort of have lots of anisake or types of bacteria and parasites which will hamper the human's uh, body so we have to prevent that kinds of bacteria so how to prevent how to treat sardina uh, i'll show you step by step let's go okay first of all we have to descale from tail to head like this as you can see here Sardina so don't have too much scales, same as like the other fish. Softly and gently. Now I'm gonna clean with this running tap water. Now I'm gonna cut the heads. Normally two other fish will cut in the cross way, but this fish uh, is still, it's okay. Now we'll take the goods. Now you will cut here, just a little bit here in the belly parts. Then we'll take the goods. You can use your knife to take out the goods. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this sardine with uh, running tap water, like this, as you can see here. There's a little bit body part, so we have to clean this. Now this is the another one. Now you have to clean the, your chopping board as well. Your chopping board, we are playing the, with raw fish, so we have to be careful. Nice. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Now we have to make dry with this paper. I'm using that towel paper. Yeah. To fillet it, it's very easy. You don't need to any um, Deva knife or you don't need to be any chef knife or Anna Ziva knife. It's very simple. I'm gonna teach you very simple techniques, okay? You have to be careful. You have to look at this, okay? Here is the middle part, as you can see here. That is the middle part. So I will cut a little bit left side from the middle part. Just like this. And the right side from the middle part as well just this one as you can see here this is also same as like that one and yes if you want you can cut the tail part also now let's see Use your fingers, thumb finger for the upper side fillet and put here softly and gently, very softly. You will feel there is the, the deboning from the meat, okay? Yeah. Very softly and gently. As you can see here, it look it, it looks like this. Then clean all of this.
you can do same as like that one with your index finger or you can take from here in the tail part from here very softly and gently but you have to secure here okay yes it's very easy you can use this tempura tempura butter and you can do the deep fried and you can solve as a bone cracker let's try another ones let's see here okay it's very easy use your thumb finger for the upper side and softly and gently push here yeah. upside from the middle bone then softly and gently that part is a little bit hard the second part is very easy as you can see here now you can debone this middle bone with securing the meat but you have to secure the meat okay Very softly yes very simple and very easy now we have to clean these belly bones here is the belly bones as you can see here and you can feel the bones in the middle part also as you can see here that is also bone so you have to cut down firstly i'll cut down the belly bones okay in the in the middle we have little bit bones just little bit so i'll clean the belly bones Now I'll separate from here. And here is the middle bones. Just a little bit you can feel the hardness. That is also bone. So I'm gonna cut these ones. Now let's cut the belly side the bone. Here is a little bit. I have here just a little bit here in the middle part, middle bones, so we can take out. With help of the tweezer. Also, you can see here some sushi chef are they are cutting this side here is the bone so they are cutting that in the middle part like this they are taking the bones all up from here yes we don't have anything here to prevent the bacteria we can use here salt in the both side that is the kosher salt normal. then we can wait till 10 minutes so you will see the the water from the fish will come out and the some bacteria like the anisake will kill down and then after what we will do let's wait 10 minutes okay after 10 minutes you have to clean with this cold ice water then make it dry now the most important things is that is the vinegar i'm putting in the just putting in the container we have to put this sardina inside the vinegar to kill the bacteria properly 
You can do the same process for the other fish like a sea bream, sea bass, even you can do that kind of process for the salmons to kill the bacteria. If you don't feel that is real sushi and sashimi grade fish or not, if you are confused, you can do and uh, you, can, you can kill all the bacteria and you can make the sushi and you can enjoy it. After 2-3 minutes, I'm gonna start to make the sushi, okay? Let's go.